Well, the Democratic National Convention is now in full swing in Charlotte, and the Twin Tiers delegation made its way onto the convention floor for the first time just a short time ago. And just before they arrived, WMY TV News Washington correspondent Ted Fioliso caught up with them to find out about their experiences and what they're looking forward to. Everyone's uh, fired up and ready to go, so to speak. If anyone knows, it's Sean Hogan. This is the fourth Democratic convention the Hornell mayor has attended. I think OA, you know, we had a, we had, it was really a history-making convention. We had, our uh, nominee was the first African-American to be nominated for uh, president. Now, President Obama has a four-year record to run on. Hogan says the president has worked hard to turn the economy around, but he needs more time. Had 27 straight months of job growth, has uh, implemented a, a, uh, an affordable health care plan, uh, and really helped many millions of people. Now it's time to continue that, uh, what he started. From the veteran to the newbie. It's very exciting. Uh, I am enjoying being a, a part of this. Alicia Hare, wife of former Elmira mayor and councilman Jim Hare, is making her first DNC appearance as a delegate. She's also a member of the Hispanic Caucus, and she hopes to take back what she learns to the southern tier. How to get out the vote, and uh, particularly women, senior citizens, and uh, minorities. Both Hare and Hogan are looking forward to getting into the Time Warner Cable Arena for the first time tonight to hear First Lady Michelle Obama's big primetime speech. I'm particularly uh, interested in her with helping military families because my son is in the military and, uh, and they need help. She's uh, very concerned about the young people of our nation and the, you know, her initiative on to get moving and, and stay well and fit. New York's Democratic leaders, Lieutenant Governor Bob Duffy, Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver, and Senator Chuck Schumer spoke to the delegation this morning about party unity. I also spoke to Senator Schumer one-on-one -on -one where we discussed the convention and the upcoming election. You can see that story tonight at 11. Reporting from the Democratic National Convention in Charlotte, Ted Fioriliso, WENY-TV News.